Hello and welcome. In this presentation, you see how to create an assembly component in the Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control Software Library. IaaS supports rapid and managed deployment of servers in a virtualized environment. You create components from template, assembly, and ISO files. The gray box in the process diagram includes activities that are shown in the upcoming demonstration. Before creating a component, you should have already configured a file server and your Oracle Cloud Administrator should have created a reference to it. You should also have created one or more folders for storing, sharing, and or isolating component files. Now let's see how to create an assembly component in the Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control Software Library. In this session, I'm logged in as a self-service administrator, and I navigated to the software library. Begin by selecting the folder in which you want the requested assembly file to reside. Click on the Actions menu and navigate through Create Entity and select Virtualization. In the small dialog box that pops up, select the Assembly subtype and click Continue to start the Create Assembly sequence. On the first page of the sequence, provide a name. Here, enter FMW Generic WLS 13C. The description is optional, but we provide one anyway. This assembly is Fusion Middleware Generic WebLogic Server 13C installation. So click Next. On the Upload Files page, select the Refer Files option. Next, click on the small magnifying glass to search for the referenced file location where the assembly file has been placed. In the Select External Location dialog box, retain the HTTP value for the storage type and select the HTTP for Sales option. Click OK. Here, click the Add button below the referenced file location path. Enter the name of the assembly file on the HTTP server I have the value saved in the paste buffer, so we just apply that to the source file input. Provide a simple name. Here, provide generic WLS 13C. Then click OK. Click Next. The Customize page appears. This assembly contains only one virtual machine, as you see in the assembly structure and information display. This assembly cannot be customized, so click Next. On the review page that appears, you can see the parameters for the request to create the assembly. When you're satisfied with the request, click Save and Upload. The software library returns and the assembly component is highlighted. A confirmation message appears at the top of the display. Remove this message by clicking the small X in the upper right corner. The assembly can now be found in the software library and published to users for deployment. This ends the presentation. Thank you for watching.